A Wake County neighborhood divided. That's what some residents of the Wakefield Estates neighborhood are saying after someone gave a family there a racist letter. Now neighbors gathered in solidarity. CBS 17's Randy Ayala has the story. When I saw it after, you know, I'll be honest with you, my blood boiled. This letter is sparking a movement in a Wake Forest community. Neighbors say an interracial couple that lives in the upscale Wakefield Estates neighborhood received this note. A neighbor gave CBS 17 a copy. It reads in part, please keep your husband and teenage kids well behaved and orderly because no one is interested in you or their struggles. Most of us would not hesitate to call the police if your kids or husband get unruly. Somebody that lives near me thinks that way and has the audacity to to send something that hateful to somebody that lives in their neighborhood. The family who says they were targeted sent a response with a copy of the letter to everyone in the neighborhood. It reads in part, we will not be intimidated by your cowardly act and ignorance. We are happy to have a discussion if you have the courage. When it hits home, it sort of makes you take a step back for a second. And uh, so it was disturbing. Neighbors planned a march and solidarity drive in response to support the family, but plans announced on social media were met with backlash. They were making threats about being armed. The Organizers decided to call off the event, but a crowd still came out, though smaller than originally expected. Before this happened, I did not think our neighborhood was divided. Since this has happened, I 100% know our neighborhood is divided. A division this community feels can only unify through conversation. Randy Ayala, CBS 17 News. And Randy reached out to the Wake County District Attorney's Office. Lauren Freeman says they do not have an active investigation at this time, adding that while the letter is abhorrent, it does not contain language that would give rise to a criminal offense based on our review. Freeman went on to say her office joins with others in the community condemning this sort of prejudice.